Men eh, du sätt har man på en bit en ång eh, du sätter in i ditt rum att det kanske tar en bit på en minut eller på en minut du är en expert på att du har en bit på en minut Hur är det? It's an important message for sure for Islam being. It's very important to encourage the people and to afford and to, and to give them the encouragement in order to continue this great work. It's going to be really very special, uh, not only for Egypt but for the whole world. It's a, a very important project for the civilization of the world, for the uh, international culture uh, efforts that are done in this field. And it's a huge, gigantic uh, project uh, that is uh, really second to none. Uh, normally it's supposed to be very important and it's uh, be, uh, supposed to be very encouraging and it's, uh, uh, this is what's supposed to be but uh, because of the actual current situation of Corona we hope it's going to work well and um, it was a wise decision to postpone the opening of the museum till the end of the pandemic and this is what's happening now uh, so many uh, times and uh, inauguration time uh, uh, dates have been set previously but uh, they were uh, so many times postponed and it's very understood it should be open when the whole world is uh, capable of uh, absorbing this uh, uh, huge uh, incident, uh, cultural incident in the world and um, I expect uh, it's not officially declared for sure till now but uh, what is officially declared it will be in the second half of uh, 20, uh, 2022 I'm expecting to be open in the 4th of uh, November uh, uh, of, the, uh, of this year, which is um, uh, would be the, uh, the occasion of the inauguration of the, of the opening of the or the discovery of the tomb of Tutankhamun. Uh, it would be 100 years, and uh, this is my expectation. It's not officially declared, but it's understood from the surrounding uh, situations that it is going to be such uh, a decision. If not, uh, I recommend it if it's. Uh, if this date is chosen because it's really very uh, significant for the whole world and for the tourism and for the cultural uh, tourism over the whole world and especially for Egypt because it's a very important incident, the opening or, of, uh, or the discovery of the huge tomb of Tutankhamun. A huge valley, not in size, because it's the most, one of the most uh, uh, small, uh, smallest uh, tomb in the valley of the kings, in fact. But it's, uh, it has a very important value and it's very uh, important and very big in the eyes of the world because of its value. In fact, it's not just a museum, it's more than a museum, it's a huge uh, cultural project, as we said previously, it's uh, a museum, uh, so, so many museums in, inside each other, for instance, there is a child museum inside, a uh, restoration center, uh, there is um, so many halls and uh, restoration projects and uh, uh, a bibliotheque, a huge library, and uh, really it's a huge uh, uh, cultural project. Even the shops that are going to be around the area, uh, the parking uh, uh, places and the gardens around the area, it's going to be a very uh, huge project. You can stay one week uh, in this museum, and it's near to the... Um, uh, to the Sphinx Airport nowadays, and uh, it's near also the pyramids. So it's a panoramic view from the museum itself. You can spare, you can really spend a lot of time there, and you can come specially for this museum if you are interested in monuments and history. And there are a lot of people uh, in so many countries in the world that uh, have this feeling, and they, are, they have what we call it the Egyptomania, which means that they are uh, really 
fund of Egypt to an extent that is not imaginable. In fact, uh, Egypt deserves that, and the project is huge, and it's going to be a real uh, revolution in the field, uh, the field of the um, culture field and in the museum work in the whole world. For sure, this is going to be a huge, gigantic project in the whole uh, world, and especially it will be a special privilege for Egypt as well. In normal situations, it's a jump. It's a real uh, hop. It's a real uh, unbelievable uh, uh, change. But uh, this is a normal situation. We are not in normal situation because of the COVID, uh, because of the coronavirus, because of the uh, war that uh, is c uh, currently occurring now it's, uh, in Russia and uh, Ukraine. Ukraine. And uh, in fact, uh, it's supposed to be uh, very affecting in the normal situations. And we hope it's going to be affecting even in the current situations. But we have to be also a little bit uh, uh, reasonable because um, in such situation with the war, with the COVID, we are not expecting a huge, gigantic uh, uh, a change. But uh, for sure, it will change a lot. And the normal situation is going to be uh, a real, gigantic uh, change. Uh, but uh, I cannot guarantee that because the current situation is previously set. Um, yes, it is. It is really uh, an important destination. Egypt is Cairo is going to be uh, a very important destination. I, I, I think that after the construction of this, after the, it's already constructed, after the renovation of this museum, uh, I, I'm expecting Egypt or Cairo, let's say in particular, I'm expecting Cairo to be like Luxor. For sure, Luxor is uncomparable uh, because of the quantity of monuments it has, but now we have 100. Uh, thousand pieces in the Grand Egyptian Museum, besides other pieces in the stores, and so it's going to be really a center of uh, uh, culture, and it's going to compete uh, with uh, compete Luxor as well, and compete uh, huge uh, uh, cultural uh, centers in Egypt like uh, Minya, like uh, um, other uh, sites, but uh, Luxor and uh, Egypt uh, and Cairo containing the Egyptian Museum are going to be the main important two centers uh, for cultural tourism in Egypt, I think. And uh, it's very great change and it's a very great project and I hope it's going to be uh, open in a smooth way because of the situations uh, that are occurring in the world nowadays. I'm going to be, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be uh, opening um, a wonderful soft open opening, and I'm sure uh, in normal situations it will change the world. <laughs> Yes, uh, as you said, uh, especially Tutankhamun, we have uh, more than 5,000 pieces from the collection of Tutank Tutankhamun. Even some uh, pieces that are never ever uh, displayed before are going to be displayed, are going to be shown in this uh, museum, and it's going to be really second to none because the whole world will be uh, astonished, will be, uh, it would be fascinating for the whole world, the new pieces that are going to be uh, shown in this museum that are never uh, seen before, and even in the international uh, expositions in the whole world, uh, some of some pieces are very really unique and masterpieces that are going to be uh, open for the first time. It's like it's a new discovery in such case, and at the same time, for uh, for sure, the normal traditional pieces that we have in the Egyptian museum, most of the Egyptian museum now is transport, uh, transport, uh, transfer, transferred, transported to the new Grand Egyptian Museum, and it's going to be. Uh, the three floors of these museums are going to be 
uh, unbelievable and uh, as we said before you can stay one week at least uh, let's say from normal tourists you can stay one week but if you are specialized in Egyptian antiquities and uh, archaeology and you can spend a year a whole year studying and uh, contemplating in these wonderful treasures that are really second to none and that are really fascinating the whole world and the whole world is coming to Egypt because of them and will be coming in Egypt because of the Egyptian grand museums in particular as far as I think. Yes, uh, I don't have any much from the information, because I'm a new to this expert. Thank you very much for doing it.